Tonight on the Delta Pest Football Report, we've reached halftime. It's the midway point of the high school season. I'm David Wallace. What will really be remembered about 2016 plays out over the next few weeks. Some seasons will begin to be made or broken as early as this Friday night. Good thing for you, the Delta Pest Football Report starts now. Ready, set, hut, hut. Ah, the Hootens.com crew is in mid-season form tonight. That's Chad Hooten, who will be along shortly to help us pick classes 7A and 6A. Barry Grooms with 5A and 4A. And Chris Hooten on AAA and AA. Jeff Hall does the post-production editing. Let's start with class 7A in the Hootens.com rankings. North Little Rock at 5 and 0 plays host to Fort Smith Southside in the game of the week. Number two, Springdale Harbor is 4 and 1. Unbeaten and third-ranked Cabot plays host to rival Conway this week. Number four, for Fort Smith Northside's defense is stuffing opponents. Number five is Bentonville, followed by Fayetteville at six. Number seven, Fort Smith Southside at two and three was on the door of the end zone on the final play of last week's three-point loss to Cabot. Eighth-ranked Bryant's defense is solid. Number nine, Rogers is four and one. Number ten is Springdale at three and two. Well, Chad, we said it's the game of the week. It comes from the 7 day Central, and it is a good one. Number seven, Fort Smith Southside at number one, North Little Rock. David, this is the first time these two schools have got together since 2009 when Southside won a dramatic semifinal matchup at North Little Rock. Southside played a lot tougher competition, but North Little Rock is outscoring its opponents 49-12, to and Hootens.com predicts the charging Wildcats by nine over Fort Smith Southside. All right, the other highly ranked team in the Central is number three, Cabot, facing winless Conway, but the Wampus Cats may be the most deceptive 0-5. Still, third-ranked Cabot is a 16-point home favorite. Hootens.com likes eighth-ranked Bryant by seven at home over Little Rock Central, and fourth-ranked Fort Smith Northside by 18 at home over Little Rock Catholic. Now to the 7A West, and Chad, here's the best game here. Number five, Bentonville at number two, Springdale Harbor. David Harbor's defense continues to be impressive. That's why they're ranked number two in the state. Bentonville's kind of hitting mid-season stride. They beat defending state champ Fayetteville a couple weeks ago. Hootens.com, though, going with number two, Springdale Harbor, at home by 15 over number five, Bentonville. Another battle of top ten teams, sixth-ranked Fayetteville at number nine, Rogers, and the Purple Dogs are picked by 14. Hootens.com likes tenth-ranked Springdale by eight at Bentonville West. And will Rogers Heritage finally get a win? This may be the week Rogers Heritage finally gets their first victory. They're playing at Van Buren. Van Buren battled well early against Bentonville last week. But Hootens.com picking Rogers Heritage by a point over the pointers. Set up! Now let's look at Class 6A, where the Hootens.com rankings begin again with Greenwood. The Bulldogs are unbeaten at 5-0. Number two is Pine Bluff, traveling to third-ranked Jonesboro in the game of the week. Number four, Russellville is also unbeaten at 5-0. Benton is up two spots after smoking Siloam Springs last week. Number six, Lake Hamilton is followed by seventh-ranked El Dorado. Number eight, Searcy beat number nine, West Memphis, last week for the fifth straight season. And the tenth-ranked team is Texarkana. Well, Chad, it's another good one in the 6-8 game of the week. It's number two, Pine Bluff, at number three, Jonesboro. Well, David, Pine Bluff's eliminated Jonesboro from the playoffs three of the past four years, including the past two seasons, up at Jonesboro. So the Zebras know how to win up there. Jonesboro is undefeated 5-0 and for the first time in six years. Hootens.com going with the visitors again. Pine Bluff by a touchdown at Jonesboro. Okay, also in that conference, which is the 6A East, number 8, Searcy is home and a 13-point favorite over Marion. Hootens.com likes ninth-ranked West Memphis to bounce back from its loss to Searcy, playing at Little Rock Hall, and the Blue Devils are picked by 36. Chad, how about Jacksonville at Mountain Home? Jacksonville has won seven of the last ten meetings, but they've got a little something going up at Mountain Home. A senior two-way lineman, Jonathan Fox, is 6'4", 294. He's one of the best in 6A, and Mountain Home is a six-point favorite over Jacksonville. Okay, that takes care of the East. Let's go to the 6A West, where number six, Lake Hamilton, travels to number four, Russellville. Chad? Well, tough week at Lake Hamilton this week. They lost their 43-year-old principal to a heart attack on Tuesday morning. Now they've got to play undefeated Russellville. Billy Dawson Cyclones are really good on defense. Four seniors on the front line, a couple of senior linebackers. Hootens.com picking Russellville by a touchdown over Lake Hamilton. 
Of course, the number one team in 6A plays in the West. That's Greenwood. And the Bulldogs are picked to win it easy by 42 at Siloam Springs. Putins.com likes fifth-ranked Benton by 23 at number 10, Texarkana. And number 7, El Dorado by 24 at Sheridan. All right, I'm Chad Hooten for Delta Pest Control. Bill and Doris Lawrence, the great folks at Delta Pest, celebrating 40 years of business, Delta Pest Control. And you know, after 40 years, Delta Pest Control is still small enough to be personal. But if you've got a big job, they can handle that too. They're big enough to handle the big jobs. It's quality pest control service offered for the most reasonable investment And you should call Delta Pest Control. Celebrating 40 years. Congratulations to Bill and Doris Lawrence. Delta Pest Control. And coming up next, more of the Delta Pest Football Report from the Delta Pest Control Room. For the fearless fans, the ones who refuse to be fair-weathered, all you diehards, you true blues, you supporters who are there through thick and thin, Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield will be right there with you, supporting you, every step of the way with a name that's been trusted for more than 65 years and the card most accepted by top doctors and specialists providing strength security and the eternal promise of next year arkansas blue cross and blue shield live fearless when the sun rises for our kansans the work begins the same is true at steve lander's chrysler dodge jeep ram Nobody said it was going to be easy, but working hard to be the best never is. And becoming your number one Ram dealer means always giving you the best selection at the best price on new 2016 Ram trucks. We're not 9 to 5. We're stay till it's done. This is number one. Shop the summer clearance event today at Steve Landers Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Above the Ray Theater, only in Little Rock. Mom, time for practice. He may not be so small anymore, but he's still a kid, not a small adult. Why take him to an adult sports medicine facility for a sports injury? Arkansas Children's Hospital sports medicine physicians understand how to treat the developing athlete. Friday night injury? Come to the new Next Day Sports Injury Clinic each Saturday, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. No appointment necessary. Arkansas Children's Hospital, always in the game. We hit the second quarter here on the Delta Pest Football Report. David Wallace back with you in the Delta Pest Control Studios. Joined now by Barry Grooms as we look at Class 5A. Just a few shifts in the Hootens.com rankings for Class 5A. Number one, Pulaski Academy is the same, of course. Batesville at number two, followed by Wynn, unbeaten at number three. Alma is fourth and Marlton fifth. Sylvan Hills is unbeaten at 5-0 and oh at number 6. Little Rock McClellan moves up one after a mercy rule win over Mills. Number 8 is Watson Chapel. Number 9, Greenbrier. Then Whitehall is at number 10. Barry, the game of the week takes place in the 5A West. It is number 4, Alma, and number 5, Marlton. The Airedales have lost two games this season. Springdale and Greenwood, both in higher classifications, looking to run the table, though, in the 5A West this season. they got to get past a tough Moralton team. Moralton does it with a balanced offense featuring Graham Heidenreich and Deontay Duncan at the receiver spots. And on defense, it's Lane Granberry and Corey Farrell at linebacker. The Alma Airedales have a potent offense led by senior quarterback Noah Dodson. Putins.com going with the Airedales by one at Moralton. All right, number nine, Greenbrier is at Farmington and favored by 16. Barry, another key conference matchup has Bologna traveling up to Harrison. Harrison's got a balanced offense, and they got a big play receiver, Daniel McCormick. He's averaging a mind-boggling 41 yards per catch this season. Hootens.com going with the Goblins by two over Bologna. And Hootens.com is picking Maumel by 13 at Clarksville. Now to the 5A Central, where number one Pulaski Academy faces a pretty good Little Rock Christian team, but the Ruins are still favored by 25 points. Number six, Sylvan Hills is on the road and picked by 17 at Mills. Hootens.com likes number seven, Little Rock McClellan, by 43 at Little Rock Fair. BB is the lone home favorite in this conference, picked by three over Parkview. Now to the 5A East, where number two, Batesville, is favored by 11 over Forest City. Blytheville is a 21-point road favorite at Green County Tech. Hootens.com com is going with Nettleton by seven at home against Paragould. Then you got number three win at Valley View, Barry. The win Yellow Jackets have never lost to Valley View. That trend continues. Hootens.com going with win by 18. All right, Barry in the 5A South, Watson Chapel, the number eight team in the state, is at home and a 24-point favorite over Hope. And you've got number 10 Whitehall at Hot Springs Lakeside. 
Whitehall was winless last season, 5-0 and this year behind running back Lance Smith. And Hot Springs Lakeside lost the first three games of this year, but the Rams have won two straight when it matters most. Hootens.com, though, going with Whitehall by six at Lakeside. And the other two games in the South Camden, Fairview picked by three at Magnolia. Hootens.com is uh, picking to Queen by six at home over Hot Springs. All right, it's going to be a great week of high school football. Let me tell you a little bit about Delta Pest Control. Wherever you are tonight listening to the Delta Pest Football Report, You are in the Delta Pest service area. Statewide, Delta Pest Control offers you an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. They've been around since 1976. Bill and Doris Lawrence doing a great job for the state at Delta Pest. Check them out online at deltapestcontrol.net. It's Delta Pest Control. And coming up next, more of the Delta Pest Football Report from the Delta Pest Control Room. Mom, time for practice. He may not be so small anymore, but he's still a kid, not a small adult. Why take him to an adult sports medicine facility for a sports injury? Arkansas Children's Hospital sports medicine physicians understand how to treat the developing athlete. Friday night injury? Come to the new Next Day Sports Injury Clinic each Saturday, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. No appointment necessary. Arkansas Children's Hospital, always in the game. To be fearless is not a gift. It's not a given. Fearless is a choice, one that's yours to make. Will you be bold? Will you be brave? You can, because you have the power of a card that opens doors in all 50 states, the one trusted for more than 65 years. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Live fearless. Hi, Steve Landers here, and I'm proud to invite you to the all-new Steve Landers Kia on South University. The Steve Landers name has been a part of Central Arkansas for generations, and we're excited to bring you a great brand like Kia, the tradition of giving you the best, like Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty that comes with every brand-new Kia. You know, I've always given you the best, and it won't change. Best prices, best selection. we got over 1,000 pre-owned, and my new Kia store is no different. So come see us today at the all-new Steve Landers Kia on South University in Little Rock. Kia, the pirated surprise. Back on the Delta Pest Football Report, let's move on to Class 4A. Only a couple of minor adjustments this week in the Hootens.com Top 10. Number 1, Nashville. Number 2, Warren. And number 3, Shiloh Christian are all 5-0. Fourth is Joe T. Robinson, another unbeaten team. And so is P. Ridge, 5-0 and and number 5. CAC is at number 6 now. Prairie Grove is up 1 to number 7 after a mercy rule win at Gravit. Number 8, Arkadelphia drops a spot after its second straight loss. Number 9 is Pocahontas and then Hamburg rounding out the top 10. Barry, our game of the week in 4A is number 4, Joe T. Robinson at number 1, Nashville. The biggest question surrounding this game is, are there enough digits on the scoreboard for it? Nashville is leading the nation by scoring 67 points a game. The scrapper starters haven't played in the second half in three of the five games this season. Joe T. Robinson, on the other hand, scores seven touchdowns a game. When you start talking about statistics, we could bore them all night, David. Nashville putting up almost 600 yards per game. The scrappers doing it through the air and on the ground with Trent Harris and Darius Hopkins, that dangerous duo in the back. Backfield. Joe T. Robinson putting up 472 yards a game. The Senator starters, they hadn't played much in the second half of games either. Hey, the coach's son at Robinson, Hunter Escola, a first-year starter at quarterback. He's having a heck of a season, completing 72% of his passes. He's thrown 22 touchdowns and just two interceptions. But Hootens.com going with the Nashville Scrappers at home by seven. Also in the 7-4A, Barry, uh, number eight, Arkadelphia, travels to Fountain Lake, and the Badgers are picked by nine. The other winners in the seven, Ashdown by seven at Malvern, and Mina at home by 24 over Boxite. Let's look at the 8-4A, number 10, Hamburg at Star City. Hamburg has won three straight games since starting the season 0-2, struggling Star City, averaging just 14 points and 141 yards a game, and Hootens.com likes Hamburg by 25. Number two, Warren is home against Dumas. Warren has won five straight over Dumas since 2010. The Lumberjacks undefeated this year, averaging 44 points a game. Dumas is going to challenge them, though. Dumas runs the ball really well, averaging almost 400 yards rushing a week. But Hootens.com going with the second-ranked Lumberjacks by 14. All right, the Monticello Billies are two-point favorites over Dollaway, and it's a pillow fight in CrossFit where DeWitt visits. 
the battle of winless teams. DeWitt getting outscored 23 points per game, and CrossIt outscored 19 points a game. Hootens.com going with CrossIt by seven. Perry, let's look at the 1-4-A now, where the biggest game features a pair of uh, top seven teams. Number three, Shiloh Christian, home against number seven, Prairie Grove. Tough call here, but Hootens.com is going with the Tigers by one. Number five, P. Ridge is favored by 28 at Gravit. Gentry is a two-point pick at Huntsville, and Hootens.com likes Berryville by three at Lincoln. Now to the 2-4-A. Here's a good game. Number six, CAC on Mustang Mountain against Heber Springs. Surprisingly, David, this could decide the conference championship. Beaver Springs has won consecutive games over Lone Oak and Stuttgart. CAC, not much of a running attack, but boy, the Mustangs can throw the ball around. Senior quarterback Noah Evans, he's thrown for over 1,400 yards and 17 touchdowns this year. Hootens.com going with the Mustangs by eight. Okay, the other winners in the 2-4-A, according to Hootens.com, Lone Oak by two over Southside Batesville, West Helena by 16 at Riverview, and Stuttgart by 20 over Baptist Prep. Now to the 3-4-A, number nine, Pocahontas is traveling to Brooklyn and picked by 26 points. Hootens.com is going with Jonesboro Westside by one at Cave City, Gosnell by seven at Truman, and Highland by 31 at Harrisburg. Now to the 4-4-A, where Ozark is home against Subiaco Academy. And the Hillbillies have beaten Subiaco Academy seven of the past nine seasons, but Ozark is struggling a little bit on offense. They were shut out last week by Boonville. Hootens.com, though, going with Ozark by 24 over the Trojans. Pottsville Apaches are seven-point favorites at Waldron. Hootens.com in the 4-4-A is also picking Dardanelle by 35 over Westport and Dover by four over Boonville. All right. Can't wait for kickoff this week. I'm Chad Hooten for Delta Pest Control. And I want to tell you, Delta's reputation is built on quality pest control service offered at the most reasonable prices. That should get your attention. Bill and Doris Lawrence are great folks. They can treat your home or your office. And I love the fact that their company is small enough to be personable, yet they're big enough to do those really big jobs you might have, like at a business or industry. It's Delta Pest Control. And coming up next, more of the Delta Pest Football Report from the Delta Pest Control Room. I'm Steve Landers for Steve Landers Toyota. You know, before I was in the new car business, I spent 20 years in the pre-owned business. And I've sold more used cars than anybody in Arkansas over a 45-year period. We're the number one pre-owned dealer in the state. Nobody sells more pre-owned cars than we do. And there's a reason why. we got the biggest selection. We have access to over 2,000 pre-owned vehicles. We handpick these cars. We guarantee these cars. We stand behind them. Shop the right place at the right time and get the right deal. Come see us at Steve Landers Toyota, I-430 in Colonel Glenn. To the fearless fans, the ones who refuse to be fair-weathered, all you diehards, you true blues, you supporters who are there through thick and thin, Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield will be right there with you, supporting you every step of the way. We're the name that's been trusted for more than 65 years, and the card most accepted by top doctors and specialists, providing strength, security, and the eternal promise of next year. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Live fearless. Mom, time for practice. He may not be so small anymore, but he's still a kid, not a small adult. Why take him to an adult sports medicine facility for a sports injury? Arkansas Children's Hospital sports medicine physicians understand how to treat the developing athlete. Friday night injury? Come to the new Next Day Sports Injury Clinic each Saturday, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. No appointment necessary. Arkansas Children's Hospital, always in the game. Well, we hit the fourth quarter on this edition of the Delta Pest Football Report, looking to Class 3A as Chris Hooten joins me now in the Delta Pest Control Room. The top ten remain the same on Hootens.com. Number one, Charleston is working towards 10-0 and home field advantage in the playoffs. Prescott is also 5-0 at number two. Glenn Rose is number three. Number four, Junction City is followed by number five, Smackover, then sixth-ranked Clinton. Number seven is Harmony Grove Haskell getting great play from first-year junior quarterback Hunter Hilson. Number eight is Fordyce, and you got center point at number nine. Ball Knob is 5-0 and at 10, and on its way to 10-0 and in the 2 AAA title. Well, Chris, we started in the 3 AAA with a Hootens.com Game of the Week. It's Piggott at number 11, Newport. 
David, both teams are healthy and 2-0 in conference play. Pickett is 5-0 for the first time since 1991. Look for Pickett to control the game with its diamond T attack. The Mohawks ran 40 more plays than Rivercrest, utilizing senior halfback Justin Golding and junior halfback Cade Harrell. Newport counters with a strong rushing attack and a solid defensive line. Newport has allowed three touchdowns since a 2014 loss to Gosnell in the opener. Hootens.com likes Newport by four over Red Hot Pickett. All right, Chris, let's run through the rest of the three AAA. Manila is on the road and a favorite by 18 at Corning. Hootens.com is picking Rivercrest by 14 at Hoxie and Walnut Ridge by 20 at Osceola. Now to the four AAA where number one Charleston is on the road and favored by 42 at Two Rivers. Chris, a big battle has Paris traveling to Atkins. Atkins averaging almost 400 balance yards per game and 39 points per game since its eight-point loss to 4-4A favorite Dover in the opener. Hootens.com likes Atkins by seven over Paris. All right, also Mansfield, a one-point favorite at home over Cedarville. And Hootens.com likes Lamar by six at home against Perryville. Now to the five AAA, where number two Prescott is on the road and picked to win big, 25-point favorites at Horatio. Chris, you've got Bismarck at number three, Glen Rose. Glen Rose, which beat Jesseville 35-6 last week, gears up for next week's showdown at Prescott. Hoops.com going with Glen Rose by 49 over Bismarck. Number seven, Harmony Grove Haskell is a 23-point road favorite at Jesseville. And then how about number nine, Center Point hosting Gurdon. Last week, Center Point crushed Horatio 40-zip behind senior quarterback Keenan Owens. Hootens.com going with Center Point by 20 over Gurdon. Now to the six AAA, number four, Junction City is on the road and picked by 12 at Falk. Number eight, Fort Ice is another road favorite, favored by three touchdowns at Lake Village. And number five, Smackover, is home to Drew Central. Drew Central has lost 11 straight games. No doubt here, Smackover favored by 46. And McGee is picked by 16 at Genoa Central. Let's look to North Arkansas now for the 1-3A. And number six, Clinton, Chris, is going to Melbourne. David Clinton averaging 434 yards and 44 points per game in league play. Look for the Yellow Jackets to hit both of those marks again this week. Clinton is a 22-point favorite at Melbourne. All right, other projected winners in the 1-AAA. Elkins by 16 over Marshall. Green Forest by 1 at home against Yellville Summit. And Mountain View by 8 at Greenland, according to Hootens.com. Now to the 2-AAA, where number 10, Ball Dobb, is at home and picked big by 34 over Episcopal Collegiate. Barton should bounce back. The Bears favored by 12 over Mariana. And Harding Academy is a 13-point pick at Cedar Ridge. Set up! Now let's look at the Hootens.com Class AA rankings. And number one, England faces its first test in league play this week when the Lions travel to Conway Christian. Hector hangs at number two, and Danville is in no danger of losing its spot at number three. Fourth-ranked Mount Ida rocked Murfreesboro last week. They're followed by Hampton, reaching number five after a huge win at Camden Harmony Grove. Six AA frontrunner Desart checks in at number six. Harmony Grove stays at number seven despite that loss to Hampton. Conway Christian slipping three spots to number eight. Bearden and Ryzen round out the top ten. Well, Chris Hooten, the double-A game of the week comes from the 8 AA. It is number nine, Bearden at home against Parker's Chapel. David senior running back Desmond Jackson and junior quarterback Amante Harris fuel Parker's Chapel's single wing this year. Number nine, Bearden was off last week after taking down Ryzen week four by scoring three touchdowns on fourth down plays. The dual threat quarterback for Bearden is Tyler Berry. He ran for more than 100 yards and a touchdown against Ryzen. Hootens.com likes Bearden by eight over Parker's Chapel. Other games in the 8AA, number 7, Camden Harmony Grove is picked by 6 at Woodlawn. Number 5, Hampton is home against Strong. David, a week ago, Hampton put sophomore Rylan Turner on Harmony Grove receiver Kentrell Hill, and he shut him down. Got three interceptions in that big win for Hampton. In Hampton features senior athlete Monte Thomas. He averages 14 and a half yards per carry. Hootens.com likes Hampton by 15 over Strong. All right, that takes care of the 8AA. Let's move on to the 3AA now, where Mark Tree is a 28-point favorite at Midland. Hootens.com is picking Earl by 45 over Rector and Cross County by 12 against Salem. Now to the 4AA, where number three, Danville, plays at Magazine. Danville rolled up 450 yards of offense last week and held Johnson County Westside to just 100 yards. Hootens.com going with Danville by 38 at Magazine. 
Okay, Chris, the other picks in that league on Hootens.com. Mountainburg by 22 at Johnson County Westside. And Lavaca by 18 at Western Yell County. Now to the 5 AAA, and here's a good one. A top 10 battle, number one England at number eight, Conway Christian. David Conway Christian could not keep up with number two. Hector last week gave up 480 yards, 23 first downs in a 20-point blowout. Top ranked England just destroyed Bigelow, 63 zip. It's third consecutive shutout. Senior Malik Coleman averages seven and a half yards per carry for England. Junior Darius Clarkson averages a team high 125 all purpose yards. And that's why England is a 14 point favorite at Conway Christian. Number two, Hector, favored by 42 at Bigelow. Hootens.com is picking Cutter Morning Star by 12 over Poen. Magnet Cove by 8 over Quitman. Now to the 6AA, local rivalry here, Carlisle, going to Hazen. David, the Ohio Highway 70 rivalry won't determine the 6AA title this year. Hazen just won its first game of the season last week. Overall, Carlisle has dominated this series, winning 22 times since 1988. Make it 23. The pick here is Carlisle by 8 at Hazen. All right, McCrory is picked by 6 at Brinkley, and Augusta is picked by 28 at Clarendon. Palestine Wheatley is a 30-point favorite on Hootens.com and home over Marvel. Also in the 6, it's number 6, Desark at home and favored by 20 over East Point Sid County in a non-conference game. Now to the 7AA, number 4, Mount Ida is a 35-point home favorite over Spring Hill. And Chris, you've got Foreman playing at home against Lafayette County. David, the Foreman flexbone is rolling, piling up gaudy rushing numbers like 644 yards last week in a win over Derricks. Hootens.com going with Foreman by 10 over Lafayette County. All right, I'm Chad Hooten for Delta Pest Control. Bill and Doris Lawrence, the great folks at Delta Pest, celebrating 40 years of business, Delta Pest Control. And you know, after 40 years, Delta Pest Control is still small enough to be personal. But if you've got a big job, they can handle that too. They're big enough to handle the big jobs. It's quality pest control service offered for the most reasonable investment and you should call Delta Pest Control. Celebrating 40 years, congratulations to Bill and Doris Lawrence, Delta Pest Control. And coming up next, more of the Delta Pest Football Report from the Delta Pest Control Room. To be fearless is not a gift. It is not a given. Fearless is a choice, one that's yours to make. Will you be bold? Will you be brave? You can, because you have the power of a card that opens doors in all 50 states. The one trusted for more than 65 years. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Live fearless. Back on the Delta Pest Football Report, we're visiting every week with someone from the staff of the Arkansas Children's Hospital Saturday morning sports injury clinic. Tonight, we're chatting with adolescent medicine specialist, Dr. Brian Harden. Doctor, we know developing athletes don't need just any physician. They need a relationship with a primary care physician who knows their health record and can make sure they have up-to-date sports physicals. Now, why is having a sports physical by the teen's own primary care physician so important? Well, thank you, David. You know, in the past, we would do team physicals that were organized by the coaches to try to clear as many kids for play. But nowadays, research has helped show that there are better ways are really the best way to screen for potentially fatal problems in sport there is an informed history by an active parent, the teenager, and a known primary care provider. Well, what will primary care physicians be able to zero in on that others might not be? Well, these history forms ask questions that are fairly technical, um, and they wouldn't be fair questions to ask a middle school-aged athlete nor a senior high kid. They're really more pertinent for a parent who knows of a family member that has a cardiac condition that might be described like an arrhythmogenic problem that would require someone to use a defibrillator or a pacemaker. So it's important for us to be able to ask these questions. And if the parent doesn't know the answer, then we've got a relationship so that we can begin to talk to their relatives or be in a situation where we could possibly order an EKG, ECG, uh, or maybe even an echocardiogram to further investigate in those rare situations where there is a family has- history that needs to be explained. That's really good to know. Thanks, Dr. Harden. If you have a developing athlete who gets injured on Friday night, take them to the Saturday morning sports injury clinic at Arkansas Children's Hospital. 
They'll take walk-ins from 9 to 11 a.m. Saturdays on the First Floor Orthopedic Clinic. Don't you want your all-star treated by a program that knows the most about taking care of adolescents and teens? And thank you for joining us on this week's Delta Pest Football Report. Don't forget the Hootons Arkansas Football TV Show, Saturday mornings at 1030 on KATV Channel 7 to get you ready for the Arkansas-Alabama game. And then next week, Chad, Chris, and Barry will be back with me on another Delta Pest Football Report. For all of them and for producer Jeff Hall, I'm David Wallace. We'll see you at the stadium. Go!